Hey, wait, wait. Hi, hi Mark. Hi again. Hi it's good again. to see you. You too. Hey, so um, I'm going to start off the questions, and it's pretty obvious, I think. But um, you've said that uh, you're very visible, and you're out there, and you do it for people that aren't. And I was thinking that probably this is a reflection of that for, th for this exhibition. We've got about 30 different people, so now it's their turn to be visible. Is that sort of the point of this, or...? Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity to, to present those uh, artists in the Kroeniger Museum. And uh, we, we try to give uh, uh, different views, different picture on, on what uh, you know, part of reality is about. So we, we are... Uh, we are very. Uh, I'm very glad this is happening now, and uh, and uh, thanks to the museum, thanks Mark and uh, the uh, people who are involved in this. Okay. Hey, thanks. All right, it's your time. Anybody have a question? Good evening. I think it's evening at um, in Beijing, isn't it? Yes, I. My, my dinner is already at the table, so I good. am quite happy. <laughs> Very good. Um, my question is how different, what, what you talked about, the different picture you wanted to show. What kind of different picture? What is the content of the different picture? Well, the, the work uh, we are showing here, not uh, some of them are um uh well known artist but uh, most of them i should say is not uh, considered as uh, uh very well known in china Most, even some of the works are really relate to kind of uh, struggle in 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 terms of a uh, judicial or 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 law and uh, you know also many young people involved many people uh, artists from um, um, more or less uh, not so recognizable artists not 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 a popular faces but rather uh, the works relate to um, a kind of real condition in in China is that a new a social a new social condition or a new art historical or art artistic position i th i think the the condition has been like this for quite some uh, quite some times in china since we don't have a clear uh a ground for for artistic uh, condition you know we are still under very strong un uh, uh, censorship uh, so, so to have an exhibition like this, curati uh, creating by me, uh, and uh, co-creating with uh, uh, Feng Boyi and Cui uh, Chan Chan, which is uh, not possible to 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 have it done in China. Even our first uh, far off exhibition in Shanghai was uh, did a kind of underground and was sh later shut off by police. So, so just to have an ind independent view or to have a, to, to, to do the work differently, which is very difficult. And uh, yeah, that, but that's our position, you know, to say fuck off is show, to showing the in individual choice uh, to, to the power, to cultural power or, or state power. Hi. I will wait. This is Andreas Blum. I like to welcome you. I'm the new director of the Groninger Museum. Happy to have you here. We would have preferred to have you here in person. Um, the show is fabulous. I would like to thank you and all the colleagues involved in this. Uh, my question is: Will you have a chance to see the show before it's over, in person? Well, well I, I I have a very a brief uh, tour by the by Mark and. Uh, and of course, we, we select all the works. I worked with the uh, 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 how do you say, edit, uh, to to edit the catalogs. So I'm quite familiar with the works. And he me I think he meant, will you have the opportunity to come? No, I 
and still I don't have the opportunity to have uh, to have my passport back, and I never I'm not only lost my passport uh, to the authorities, but also I don't have a clear answer about. Uh, uh, for what reason they should they they like to keep my passport, or for what uh, for how long? And uh, you know this this is uh, something I can never uh, figure out. Does anybody else have any questions? Hello, it's very pleasure to meet you this way. Um, I'm Hi. working for MSC International, um, and you might know that we've been trying to work for you uh, several years ago, also in the Netherlands. We paid attention to your situation through foreign affairs. Do you think it's helpful for you, the work of MSC? I think uh, uh, Amnesty International is very uh, doing great job. I uh, have always been, and uh, and uh, still I think uh, is a uh, uh, really one of the main forces in in insisting on uh, human rights or, or better better human conditions, uh, uh, human rights conditions. So I think any um, effort is is worth. And uh, even we cannot see a clear result, but we can. It's the effort is not only made for me, but for all the people who lost it, their voice. And uh, you know, many of them are still in jail, and many of them are are still uh, even being forgotten by by others. So I think, uh, as a, a human society, we cannot let something happen like this. This is. A, uh, I'm sorry to say that's very important and urgent to to speak out to 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 show people our stand on on human rights issues. Could we do anything more? Um, yes, you can just demonstrate, or you can you can do you know whatever is necessary, or or, or you can you know to it's just to show. There's real concern on 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 human rights and uh, you know on freedom of speech because all our activity, our art, our culture, are really based on individuals' uh, ability to 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 exercise the freedom of speech and to offer different opinions and ideas. I th I think only by doing that it can be a healthy society and. Uh, uh, can be a, a real um, a civil society and it can protect our society from uh, uh, you know deteriorate into uh, some kind of pitiful situation. Could I maybe ask one more question? It's regarding this exposition. Um, many artists are displaying right now here in Europe and we're not living under the same regime as you are. Do you think we can understand what you are trying to uh, say to us? I think uh, there's a big cultural difference, and uh, there's many um, issues which are not necessarily uh, you're familiar with, or not necessarily even I am familiar with. But I, I think that's the reason we have exhibitions because we want to share the difference and we want to recognize the difference. Thank you. Um, could I ask you a personal question? If you had the freedom to choose where you want to live, where do you want to live? Well, I have no personal <laughs> questions towards. Uh, I, I think this is. Uh, uh, I like to. Well, I think of, uh, where I am is where I choose to be. I never really feel uh, 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 regret about it. I think. I think where I am now is where I choose to be, mm -hmm. and uh, I never, even at the m most difficult situation, I I, I don't have, have the regret, and uh, sometimes I do feel sorry. Uh, certain things happen to me, which is almost come to a level of unbearable. And uh, think about my children. Maybe I I think oh maybe they shouldn't uh, suffer or or share this kind of situation. But myself, which is okay as long as I still can talk. Yes. 
My name is Joop van Ruiten from the Dutch newspaper uh, the Dagblad from the Northern. I only caught a glimpse of your uh, exhibition and I thought it was quite, uh, it made me depressed and it didn't give any hope. Is there any hope to be shown? I think uh, there's always hope. Whenever there's a voice, no matter how depressed that can be, the voice itself uh, is a hope. Uh, because, uh, you know, sometimes we have nothing but we can give out our voice and that's very luxurious and we, we have to really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Hello, my name is Astrid Heuker and I'm from local television. Um, I'd like to know Hi. what your ultimate vision for China is and when have you achieved your goal? Well, I... I I hope China can become a, a democratic society. So to talk about democratic society, we are thinking people can freely get the information and can, can have their own beliefs and can, can associate with whoever they want and can express their uh, conditions or express their uh, ideas. Now, uh, we are still all those uh, are still far away. So I think uh, we are still um, have to make a lot of effort. The society still have to pay a great price because the, the government refuse to make a change. They refuse to, to really communicate. They refuse to give a chance to young people for, their, for them to freely to learn or to freely ex exercise their rights. So that only make China um, to uh, well pay bigger price because uh, you know there's just a lacking of uh, effort in that direction. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm Anne Berg from the Dutch Financial Times. I was wondering whether Fuck Off 2 would also be shown in China itself. Uh -huh. Uh, if uh, my name is uh, not there, I don't know, but uh, if my name is in there, definitely uh, we cannot show in China. Because actually I think the aim is the Chinese public in a way. Is that your target for the communication? Mm. Well, we 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 try both. You know, we we try to first to recognize those artists who is uh, working in China and uh, and uh, who has some difficulties to to show their work. Some of them, some of them are quite successful, but some of them uh, do have difficulty to let their voice to be heard. And also, we try to explain to Western. Um, uh, audience, I think Mark made a very good uh, 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 presentation because uh, I see there's a lot of uh, writing on board trying to explain the works, which uh, I think is absolutely necessary. And uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Oh, one more. Do you understand Chinese artists who are obeying to the regime, or at least not criticizing it? Um, I can understand, of course. I mean, most people are not uh, are really um, not giving their opinions um, because this region was very harsh on anybody who has different ideas by you know, arresting me by put a lot of people in jail. Uh, this region very successfully um, makes the public understand to have different opinion is very dangerous. And uh, it, it can cost uh, y uh, yourself or your, your friends or your family and uh, uh, in, in, in great pain. So that's, that's how they, they maintain this. And uh, yeah, I think most artists are not used to or not, not trained to, to give out an independent idea and uh, voice. Um, is there a, an improvement in the situation? I mean, China is not North Korea. It's more like an, an open society now. 
No, not that's not true. If you talk about open society, you have to have a uh, Google, you have to have a YouTube, you have to have a, a you know Twitter or, or you know or Facebook. If you don't have all those, then if you people cannot uh, give out their criticism on the internet, uh, somebody like me cannot my to have my name to be print uh, to to tap the. On the internet, and uh, what kind of society that is, you know, uh, it looks fine. It looks just like, uh, uh, you know, so many people think it looks just like fi uh, West. Maybe it's better in the, than the West. You know, they have a lot of uh, high buildings and uh, you know, uh, very big road. But in the reality, in the you know, it's it's nothing changed since. The 1949, there's still one party system. The people still, after 60 years, nobody can vote, and uh, uh, and uh, you know you can you can still be put in jail because you have different kind of ideas, and uh, you know how 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 could you think that looks fine? No, I don't. I don't say it's it looks fine, but but perhaps there's an improvement if you compare it with 20 or 30 years ago. Well, I don't really. I think there's a lot of improvement in in terms of money, and in terms of uh, many things. But no, in 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 term, uh, not improvement uh, with uh, ideology. You know, there's no nobody really. Uh, it, it, I mean, this. I think they have to survive. All the imp improvement because they they very practically want to survive. And uh, you know they want to maintain this kind of control. So, but that so, improvement is at the cost of uh, the sacrifice, generations of uh, people's uh, uh, passion, imagination, creativity. They they sacrifice the environment. You know all the food are poisoning. Water is uh, poisoning. You know the. Uh, and uh, the, the the whole society is completely corrupted, and you know, I don't know, you know, the they selling the land, you know, which, and uh, they don't follow the law, so uh, which the, made so made by them, huh? made by themselves. Yeah. But <clears throat> yeah. So when I listen to you, uh, you you think the main problem is the party, the communist party. I that, wouldn't say that has to change. I wouldn't say that the parties is a problem, but the system is a problem. Party is part of the system, you know. Uh, you know, the the whole system is a problem. The culture also has problem, but the party is one has to bear responsibility because they are the one in control and in charge for past the six years. If you, after six years you cannot let your people. To vote, and uh, you, 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 every day you talk about your your people's government, but uh, you know this is ridiculous. And uh, you also cannot give out a schedule if you cannot let people vote in the next sixty years or in one hundred years. I mean, what's in your mind now? You only talk about China, China's dream. What is the dream? Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps. Uh can we talk about why did you choose those artists? Uh, talk about art. What kind of well, art did you choose? So, well, there's two other curators. They are also very responsible for for what we did. So you know, it's, uh, <laughs> so maybe just ask them. It's easier. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Any others? Oh, one more, and then we'll call it a day. You have lived in the United States for over 10 years. How has this Twelve influenced... years. Twelve years, yes. Mm -hmm. How has this influenced you and your thinking? Well, when I was in the secret de detention, when they trying to interrogate me, the, the final conclusion is, I will, well, you must watch too many Hollywood movies. Okay, thank you. So they think I'm very much influenced by the West. I don't think, really think so. I, I have a, 
you know, in 50 years, I, I lived 40 years in China, you know, and uh, I also understand my father's generation. And, uh, and I, I'm very deeply uh, understand today's society. I'm uh, very much involved. I'm not a person just uh, just like to criticize. You know, I like China to become stronger and healthier and uh, happier for everybody. But uh, I think there's very a few voice still come, you know, that's why always I will always criticize them because there's no other voice. Okay, thank you. Hey, Wei Wei, um, because you're not gonna, uh, we're not going to Skype you at the opening, I was wondering, could you just say, sort of we say cut, and then could you just sort of say a welcome to everybody at the opening? Do you mind doing that? Okay. I, I love to say welcome everybody to the, to the show, to the opening. I think it's, uh, I feel very warm and very happy people still pay attention and care about what's happening in far away and uh, I think uh, the museum and Mark uh, with their dedication and passion and our colleagues, I think I'm uh, really very grateful for what's happening now. Thank you.